Now, what I want to show you is some, an observation I made. And that is that I noticed that dissonant intervals, I don't care how far apart they are, have a, a sound property that is the same. What that is is not just bad and ugly and rough, that doesn't help anything, because actually it's a value judgment that jazzers would be really upset by. There's something really cool about this. And that's got a dissonant interval in it. So the definition of good and bad is a subjective judgment, and that doesn't help us to define it. That's like saying, orange is good and lemon is bad. But that's not true. Orange is orange and lemon is lemon. So what I found was the dissonant intervals manifest as a, a rhythmic pulse, pulsation of eight hertz. That is, it sounds like it's a tambourine, okay? Now, the thirds and the sixths, those poor guys, the, 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 they get the category uh, in theory of being called imperfect consonant intervals. And of course, when I was first teaching, I wasn't gonna ask my students to say, Imperfect consonants, imperfect con or even imperfect. I don't want to call it imperfect because it doesn't sound imperfect. It actually sounds very beautiful. What I found was, in fact, thirds and sixths, that would be like the C to the E. The thirds and sixths, as we'll talk about, those guys actually have four hertz. So when I play a minor third, Now listen to the dissonant. Eight, 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 four, three, four, one, three, four. We'll do a little exercise on it. Now, guess what happens here? Perfect. Right. Two. has nothing to do with the tuning of the piano, believe me. This is completely different, okay? So this is, and in fact, my physicist friends want to just kill me because I say, I'm sorry, but it's up here, still eight hertz. And up here, it's still four hertz. And I'm sorry, but it's still two hertz. And this far apart, still two hertz versus eight hertz. So I'm going to do a little exercise that isn't really music. For you folks back there that, that might have had a little bit more trouble, you did great, uh, telling dissonant from perfect, I'm going to do an exercise. This is about uh, a beat per second, OK? So if I do this, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, that's perfect. One, perfect, one, perfect, one. But you'll answer on the offbeat. On, say what that is. If I do this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 you're going to say, one, two, three, four, dissonant, 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 one, perfect, one, perfect, okay, give it a whirl, all right? So you can see those words up there, okay? So if I go, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, one, one. Now I'm going to go a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, one, one. Dissonant. Dissonant. So you're hearing perfectly. And this is what is really important to say. We're hearing just fine. It's just knowing what we're supposed to be hearing. I believe our musical ear is like the, it's far greater than the Hubble telescope, which sees into the vast universe, okay? We cannot with our eyes see that consciously. We use that incredible tool. The thing is, imagine if you didn't have software that could decode what it's perceiving so to say, what it's picking up. It doesn't mean it doesn't see, it just means you don't have the communication to be able to say what it is that it's seeing. So it's the same thing, we just really have to be, like you just did, programming in these very uh, essential things that your brain already knew. I wanna say, I need to say this, 
You didn't know it before, but now you do. And I hope it'll start feeling like, oh, I always knew that. It's not true. But in a way, your, con your metaconscious mind did know that all the time, all right? And I would never have learned it without you, okay? People like you. So now, let's do modal. <laughs> okay, so modal's gonna be four hertz. So if I go like this, one, two, three, four, dissonant, one, two, three, four, dissonant, one, two, three, four, dissonant, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one two three one two three one two three one two one two one two one two good excellent and of course those are all correct and if you had a little stint in there it would be understandable <laughs> so but that was fantastic so the idea is that you can feel that the modal feels very pleasant. All right. So now let's do modal versus perfect. Okay. Got to make sure that we know how each one of them relates. So here we go. In a moment, it's a, the most important thing is going to happen, which is how this rhythm transforms into expression. Okay. That's the most important thing. All right. So let's do this. If I go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, one. One two, one, 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 one two, one two, one two, one two, one two, one, one, one. And you know what that is? It's not either of them. So what's this? What's this? Good, good. So what's this one? So keep thinking the, think think of the rhythm, modal, louder, perfect. Really loud. Perfect. Don't need to be shy. Perfect. 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 Think just the rhythm. Perfect. Perfect. Modal. Let it go. Modal. Don't try. Perfect. Good. Good. This time, try to answer really loudly. So understandably, <laughs> it's like, wow, am I doing this, or is this right, or whatever. The thing that you're, you're really doing when you're speaking loudly is you're acknowledging in your own mind <coughs> that you're hearing something. And it's really important that it's not tentative. It's not like, oh, this is orange, and well, oh, this is lemon. Eh. Yeah, they're very different, OK? So here we go. All right, let's do this. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. One two. One two three four. 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 One. One. Perfect. One. Perfect. Okay. All right. And so this is exactly as it should be. It is harder to tell modal from perfect than to tell any of the others. Okay. It's harder to tell the modal from the perfect. And what's wonderful about this is it might explain our ancient theories that come way back from, you know, Boetius, way back in the Roman era. So uh, what we see is that actually the modal and the perfects are more similar, and the dissonant is separate, and that's really important. That's why the, uh, at first the consonant intervals were called perfect consonances and then imperfect consonances. The perfect consonances are going to be the perfect fourth, we'll talk about these again, the augmented uh, fourth and its diminished fifth name, and the perfect fifth, okay? So the modal ones are major and minor thirds and major and minor sixths, okay? So those are still very beautiful, as you know. Ask yourself to be kind of an eagle vision, and what I mean by that is you want to really get so that you can just perceive all of these elements together, okay? So that you're looking at, you can be like an eagle and just watching the action. And you notice when I switch off, just let your ear tell you what it is, okay? So let's give it a whirl, all right? Notice when I play something that sounds better than dissonant, slower than dissonant, the brain will go it's slower. But is it one, two, which is modal, or is it one perfect? The shapes of the, uh, in the words are meant to actually be pictographs to display that. I wish they could be, we could rope one of these wonderful tech people, uh, into making it animated, because it'd be so neat if the dissonant were moving at eight hertz. 
and the modal we're moving at four hertz. So they have the softer edges, and then the perfect shh, boom, yeah, moving at two hertz. That's why they have the straight edges. Okay, so here we go. So this will help to act as an anchor. All right, and one to three, one to three, one to three, one to three, one to one to one to three. One to three, one to three, one to three, one, one, perfect, one. Perfect. You always get Murphix, you know, potals and Murphix, so don't feel bad about it, okay? You're gonna, it happens every time. So just let yourself relax, actually, you're, you're working too hard, so it's gonna be one, 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 two, one, two, one, two, one, one. One to three, one to three, one to three, one to three, one to one to one to one to three, one to three, just a minute, one to three, just a minute, one to three, one to three, one, one, excellent. Okay, here we go. So think of it as truly as if I'm playing the rhythm. Just a minute, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute, one to three, just a minute, just a minute, modal, 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 modal. Dissonant, dissonant, modal. Good. The natural thing for a really smart uh, adult person to do is to try to think about it, but that won't help you because it's actually just letting go.